all right hello everybody and welcome back i am cassis plays and today we are checking out chinatown detective agency this game is on uh pc game pass and it's something that i thought had a uh, pretty interesting style to it um i think there is some dialogue choices and things like that so i figured i would get a part one out um see how it does and then yeah if you guys want more definitely leave a like leave a comment let me know if you want part two I'll do my best at getting part two out as well. Uh, but for now, let's go in, see what we got here, and uh, take it from there. So let's go ahead and start a new game, I guess. And okay. Singapore. 2030 AD. Man looks upon all that he has made, and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all. A tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being, a witness to the brilliance of its master, and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. What the? And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. Oh man. One year later. It's a start. Amira Dharma. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Yelang. Hey, brought you a little gift. I don't drink, Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. <sighs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you do work you regret for a pittance, and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Uh. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. 
No. My days as a cop are over. Oh, no harm in asking. All right. My guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. How are you one? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Okay. So I guess she's I working as a private joking. detective then. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. Okay. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Missions will take you to different places in Singapore around the world. Or in the world. Right now, the mission tasks you to find a Bodhi tree. Click on the map icon below the panel to access the MRT map. Click on a location to uh, locate there. Map. Uh, any location, I guess. Which one are we in right now? Message a picnic at midnight under the shade tree where man became one with the universe. We have phone numbers that we can call. I think this is a, a series too. I think there's other games um, like with the city name and then it says detective agency. I've never really played any of these before though. Um, all right, let's go to, I don't know, Chinatown, maybe. Bus stop, Madam Palace. Find a place where one may find a Bodhi tree and non-native species in Singapore. Okay. Well then maybe they're like gardens. Yes. Please mind the gap. First laid out in 1859 during British rule. Countless species of plants and animals have collected in this home over the years, but I'm here for one particular, the Bodhi tree by Swan Lake. Mine should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate, though. Swan Lake. Uh, please connect matching nodes to proceed hacking. Mismatch detective. This may have detected by security wipe in history after a successful infiltration. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I see, I see. Access granted. Okay, so we hacked past the maintenance gate to get to the tree, I guess. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? Rupert. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. 
He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are. Most of the time. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. New contact added. Mission log at the bottom right corner logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case. Right now, you may want to go to the last known location of Philip. National Library in the Civic District. Okay. Now, I hope majority of the game is voice acted because it, it definitely adds to the to it. Um, helps a lot I, I one thing i get afraid of a lot of times with games like these or like with this start uh art style is that they don't have um voice acting which is fine but personally uh, nowadays i prefer games that have voice acting rather than having to read every single line myself uh, especially when you're recording videos and things like that National Library, it's a miracle it's set up. Uh, it's still up and running considering how the underfunded the gov government is. You run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should head for. Now, of course, we did have to read that right there, but I mean, the main dialogue is what I feel like needs the voice acted, not, not everything. One of the key mechanics in Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requires the player to figure out on their own. That means going online and doing a search for information that could crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search for the quote Rupert told you about and then type the author name or the name of the book the quote came from in the National Library Automated Receptionist Console. And I need the book or name. I need to figure out where that quote came from. So, author name. Well, can I I guess I can just put in the uh what was that quote quote I need to figure out where that quote came from uh under the shade where it came on with the universe is that the quote oh uh, here it is of all men's miseries of all men's miseries. I think I spelled that wrong. Yeah, let's just do all of all men's. May lead me to the wrong place. The bitterest is this. Am I spelling these things wrong? <laughs> I might be. Bitter, yeah, E-S-T. Uh, to know so much and to have control over nothing. All right, I'm gonna try that. To know so much and have control over nothing. Uh. I wonder if I can talk to somebody 
and be like, hey, do you know where this is from? Gonna need a book or author name. I need to figure out where that quote came from. Um, there's not a way I can like grab this and like paste it in there, is there? Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this to know so much and have and to have control over nothing. Do I really have to put in the whole thing? And I can't like look at it and type it. Uh, please enter a book name, author name, or pronunciation title or keywords. Of all men's miseries. May lead me to the wrong place. Hold on, I'm gonna type it down or type it out. And then Then just paste it in there. The bitterest is this to know so much and to have control over nothing. All right, let's see if it lets me like paste. It does. That's the same thing. Miseries. Picnic. Book name, author name, or publication key of the keywords. Book passage. Well, am I supposed to, I wonder if I'm supposed to search the keywords there or go somewhere else and like this will search for a book. Do they have computers here then? Maybe I can go onto a computer like online. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. You want to open an internet browser? <laughs> wait, does this open an actual internet browser? No way, wait. Hold on. Wait, do, am I actually using the web? Wait. Hero Dotus. Wait, I think they meant real life. Like internet. Okay. Wait, wait, we're getting somewhere. Hero Dotus. Please proceed to the Central Public Library, Basement 1. Here we go. Wait. They mean the actual... Oh, maybe we have to find the one. Oh. Wow, look at that. A new phase. You hear Whoops. the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days, or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for the histories. By her goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. <laughs> Herodotus. <laughs> 
Garadadis. Here we go, the histories. Herodotus took an impress in 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hmm. That's cool that it actually Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. If you click on web, on the then contrary, it literally a lot opens of the stuff up a web. Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty browser. out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, technically yes, but you'll have to file a G2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an e-application to the security department and... No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlined parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. And of course... There's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with, uh, helping solve a case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now, but librarians... I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300? And you got yourself a deal. Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade, and times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? Oh. Um, 300 it is, I guess. Okay. Minus $300. <laughs> checked out about Jesus. 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. <laughs> The voice acting is actually pretty good. I I think so, at least. Uh, head to Bedek. The last person to check out to the book with, lives in Bedok. Okay, cool. Bedok. Go? Yes. New location unlocked. Bedok. Most populated residential town. Yeah, honestly, without the address, that would have been insane. Get Rupert on the line. How we doing? I followed a lead that led to an apartment in Bedok. 42, yes. Be worrying, you already know, but yeah, I'm here. No one's home, so I can probably hack the lock. Do it. My guys will turn off the block's uh, camera systems. It's on citywide network, so we need to be able to, uh, by the time you put the phone down. Okay, here we go again. Uh, there's one, two, three. Crap. Uh oh. That's not too bad. 
That the hacking. Oh god, if they add more though, oh man, it's gonna get rough. Someone left in a hurry. I should feel around for the light switch. What if we feel around and find a body though? That's the real question. Toggle switch. Nice. Uh, she left in a rush. She left the computer on. Looky here. Plan. Go s gmailer.com. Boy. Secret code. I'm betting the book. The library is the key. Time to head back. Wow, that was very quick. Okay. <laughs> We're going back then. Back to the library. Uh, where was that at? Civic District? I keep thinking that's a, an alarm every time. Okay, so we need to go down to, um, here she is. Ah, just in time. It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. The highlighted letters and the page numbers are linked and they probably correspond to an encoded message. Kind of like this? Hmm, yes, the message is purely numerical. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out. Oh man. Enter the deciphered deciphered message below. One. Oh, uh. Decipher the secret message. L. I don't know if this is correct, but it says one four four. Right? I mean, it seems like it's either two or, or three numbers. One, four, four, seven, seven. Do we have a seven, seven? You. Nine, nine, one. Uh, do we have a nine, nine? D. One zero four. One zero four. Four one zero one zero four S. One one five. One one five. One one five T. Seven five one or seven five. It might be seven five. Seven five oh. I mean that looks like a word so far. Uh one four two. One four two. W. Ludstow. Six nine. Ludstown. Okay. One four two. Uh, that was W. Right. Uh, the where to go? One four two. Where's one four two? One four two. There it is. Okay. One four two one oh nine. Uh, E. One oh one. Is it going to be a? One oh one.
Wait, is it going to be the... So I see 77 or slash 173. So maybe it's one of the slash ones. Uh, 142, 109, 101 is next. 101, 101. Here it is, D. Uh, 69, again. That one was N. Wednesday, is it gonna be a Wednesday? 109. 104. I know I saw 104. Uh, da, 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 I know it's here, I know it's here. Where's S? Is it, if it's S. Wednesday. That's got to be it. One, two, five. Is it going to be night? Watch it be night. Uh, one, two, five. Where's N? Um, oh, wait, no, there isn't an N. Oh, wait. It's right here. No, no, it's not in. Uh, one, two, five, one, two, five. One, two, three. Probably watching somebody try to decipher it. If you know the answer, it's fr <laughs> It's gotta be, uh, so annoying. I bet. All right, one, two, five, one, two, five. I'm trying to look at both numbers. I got like tunnel vision, like where I, I locked on and kind of lo lost focus. One, two, five. Uh, I don't know. Do I see a one, two, five? I see one, two, one. Okay, not a, not a. F. Oh, wait. I should probably go this way. I keep reading it from top line to bottom line. One, two, five. One, two, five. One, two, five. There it is. S. One, one, two. I. Uh, nine, seven, one. It might be nine seven, but nine seven. I don't think there's any numbers than higher than. Yeah, it's got to be nine seven because there's no numbers over like two hundred. Nine seven, nine seven. Wait, let me look again. Nine seven, nine seven. Nine seven. Here it is. X six one two one. Uh, that's one one two. One two one one two one. F. One two one. One two zero. One two zero. Sorry, I'm like losing it now. It's my mind is like here we go. Six forty. One two zero. Eight six. R eleven or one one five. Is it gonna be T? Yep. Why? Let's town Wednesday 
6.40. A meeting place and a time. Bloodstown. Never heard of it. Wherever it is, it's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. Bloodstown. Says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. <laughs> Noted. Oh, gosh. Thanks, meeting. I'll be in touch. All of our money for solving this is going to go to her, I bet. At least we got a new contact. Amira. They're no longer in Singapore. Expected as much. Do you know where they went? They left a clue behind. I'm still figuring out. I bet I need money to book a flight. Partial payment for the job. Call me when you land. Now that you know where the suspect did, it's is it's time to fly there. The game features a flight booking system called Horus. Click on the Horus button in the bottom panel and book a flight to wherever you think Philip and Genevieve have gone to. After that, travel to the airport. If you are too early for your flight, you can speed up time by waiting W to open a wait menu. Okay. So find out where Ludstown is. Well, let's go to the actual internet. Ludstown. London? Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's London. Okay. So... Singapore to London. Depart? What time is it right now? Uh, Monday. Go 08. Oh, wait. This is date. This is date. Okay. I see. I see. Hold on. Let me go back to this. Nine three thirty seven. Okay. London. Okay. Next available is six oh four. All right, let's try to make it book flight. Yes. Boarding starts three hours before departure. Safe travel. All right, let's get to the, to the airport. Where is it? Every second is a minute. We gotta go, we gotta go. Departures, board flight. You cannot board this flight yet. Please come back three hours before departure. 6.40. So that, wait, that should be right now, right? It's three. 50. There we go. <laughs> I must have clicked it right before we got there. All right. Well, that was a pretty quick flight. Uh, I think they're in London. Can you reach out to the feelers and see if they tracked them down? Hang on. An hour later. So these surveillance networks spotted them at an airport not far from Canary Wharf. God bless AI. Our face recognition. Alright, let's get over there. Canary Wharf Apartments. Are you there? Yeah, just outside the apartment. Listen, corner. Um, hold on for one second, chat. I'm gonna... Or, well, actually, yeah, you guys don't need to hold on because I am... Recording. So one sec. 
All right, here the we go. Snakes tend to strike and fear and you guys didn't grace. notice a difference. Be careful, <laughs> just in case. Thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. I always forget that when you're recording, you don't need to just be like, all right, guys, I'll be right back. You can just pause and do it and then come back. <laughs> That's the one nice thing about this. Mr. Ng, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Oh. Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. Holy. When you see the crosshairs above Amira's head, it means a shootout is about to begin. And press the G key to unholster your gun and begin the shootout. What are you doing, Philip? It's done. I'm done. I'm not going back. Whoa. Yes, you are. So is Genevieve. Alive. Put the gun down. I'm done. I've done what I was told, and I'm going to live with it. Even if it means we have to die. Whenever you enter a shootout, your mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Shoot Philip to disable him. You should always try to shoot your target in the hand or arm to avoid killing them. Be careful. You got a limited time to take a shot. If you run out of time, you'll automatically kill your target. Oh, boy. We got it. The woman of the hour is back in the house. Hello, Rupert. How's our man doing? He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID HQ, but not before I could have a word with him. He had quite a story. Oh? Care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. He had accomplices? Accomplice suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. I've got a feeling that you aren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma. Game auto saves at the end of every mission. Okay. And that was the first mission, it looks like. A picnic at midnight. Case closed. A few days later. God, what a shithole. Actually, I think we're going to call it there for now because I do have to get some other stuff done. So if you want a part two, definitely let me know. Honestly, I'm, I think this game looks pretty cool. It's, it's kind of fun. So I might just go ahead and record one anyways. Um, but we'll see. Uh, if you did enjoy this, like I said, definitely leave the like on the video, comment, and let me know uh, if you have any suggestions or if you played this game before or any other ones like it. Um, but yeah, overall, it's pretty cool. It's on Game Pass, so that's pretty much where I found it. And uh, it's it seems interesting. I like the voice acting and, and kind of like the puzzle solving. So I'm a big uh, story person. But, uh, but yeah. All right, for now, thank you as always. See you in the next one.